What if it was me? What if I was a person with a disability of any kind? Physical, cognitive, other types of disabilities? Um, what if I was the person who had that disability? In this time of the pandemic, I think a lot of people are seeing, you know, the, the social isolation that is part of a, our lives lately. Many disabled are part of that always. They're always in the social distancing. Sometimes even if they're right there in the same room right next to you, there's a social distance there. Many of them, you know, for instance, some that are autistic or, or some other disabilities similar, really kind of live within their own mind very often. They aren't able to easily express their thoughts and feelings, and that can be very frustrating and difficult. Some of you maybe are realizing that now. For yourself, you're seeing that it's difficult to express how you feel, and, and there's a lot of frustration involved. Imagine having that be part of you all the time. Often with physical disabilities, you find yourself observing life rather than participating in life, much like, again, the social distancing has led to. This is something that many disabled live with all the time and have dealt with all the time. In a way, it is you now, certainly at a lesser degree, and many of the things that you're concerned about and frustrated by, imagine that frustration being always a part of you, always has been, not just the last few months, not even projected into the next couple months, but always has been and always will be. What if it was me? What if I was the person who was disabled and had to deal with that? As we look at going forward, think about that and think about others. Empathy is a very important thing, and it's something that we should look at and think about all the time. It's not just about you. It's about others. It's about everyone. What if it was me?